Hey guys, I hope you are doing well. I received a question someone asked how to scan documents from Canon Pixima TX7650 to your computer. You need to make sure that the printer and the laptop are connected to the same network and you download the necessary software or you connect this printer using USB cable. USB cable is not included in the packaging. So this printer and laptop both are connected together. To scan your document, you need to open up the scanner and stick the document you want to scan. You can select the function, you can select the scan function from the printer touch screen, or you can also select the scan function from your laptop. Okay, so to do the scan from the laptop, you select scan. You need to make sure for you to load paper, you need to make sure you start from this arrow. Okay, there's an arrow here, so you need to make sure your paper aligned from this end. And if you look here, it was, it's also showing us A4 paper. Now then the next is, we need to go to the laptop. From here, the document we have is A4 paper. Now, if you are scanning, you also need to make sure you are scanning document. If you are scanning photo, then you need to select photo. Then the paper size is A4. Resolution, you scroll down. The maximum resolution is 600 DPI. It is currently in, in 300. What I notice is when you scan with 600 DPI, it will take a longer time. So we're going to use 300 DPI. Then select scan. Now this document is scanning. Here we go. This is the document we scan very quick. If you want to scan the second one, okay, you need to select plus. There are two plus here, but you need to make sure you select plus at the bottom, not the plus on the side. So you need to select the plus, okay, within the screen. So select plus. Okay, it gives you option for you to put the second document you want to scan. So open up this printer. Close it. Now select scan. And these are the document we scan. The first one, this is the second one. So you have the two pages here. So things you need to be aware is just make sure you select the plus on the button here and not the, the other plus at the side. The other plus is for you to add another printer. So you need to make sure you select the plus here. Now the next thing to do is once you scan the document, okay, you select save. So select save at the button and make sure its format is PDF and save all. Okay, you can give the document name. And it's also showing us PDF. Then you select where you want to save this document. We want to save it in the download. You select save. Now it's saving. Please wait momentarily. Scan result has been saved to the following folder. Click OK. Now this document is saved. So once you save the document and you want to print it out, then you select print document. Okay, once you select print document, the document scanned, select it. And click it open then they give you option for you to print this document okay this is the document we scanned and see first and second one to print it out you need to scroll down and make sure you select the correct paper portrait and print all plain paper quality and then also select print on one side or long side or print on both sides long edge then you select print automatic in terms of where do you want the paper to be printed out you can select automatic or rear paper tray or from the bottom casket so we have it in automatic select then you select how many copies then you select print
here we go so this is the document we scanned and printed it out okay so this is how to scan your document likewise print it out and also save it to your pc if you're happy with this tutorial please do me a favor like share and subscribe it help the channel thank you and stay blessed